This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on liquidation of companies. I wish to solve one sum here before you on liquidation of company. Observe the sum that I intend to solve here before you. This is the sum which I intend to solve here before you. The balance sheet of Bubble Limited as on 31st of December 2016 was as follows. 9 like 8,000 is the total of assets and liabilities. Preference share capital fully paid up. Equity shares capital are fully paid up. So you don't have any scope to demand last call from any category of shareholders. So whatever the cash balance is available, you should go on distributing in the sequence pre prescribed under the law. And that sequence is what? Make first payment to fully secured creditors. So bank loan secured by pledge of stock. Stock file at 25,000. Current assets realized 80% of the book value. So file at 25,000 into 80% is the realized value of stock. From that you are required to pay in priority the bank loan. And bank loan is 4 lakhs. So they are considered as fully secured creditors. After making payment to fully secured creditors, you are required to make payment of liquidation expenses 3,000 and liquidators remuneration 10,000. Then you have to pay preferential creditors. So creditors are 2 lakh. And it's an additional information. I don't find any preferential rights availed by any creditors. So preferential creditors are zero. After that, I'm required to make payment to this debenture holders 1 lakh and outstanding interest 8,000. Now, I am not given the date on which the payment is made. So after making payment to debenture holders and outstanding interest thereon, I am required to pay unsecured creditors. After that, if cash balance is available, then the payment will be made to preference shareholders. And even after making payment to preference shareholders, if the cash balance is available, then and then equity shares will be paid. But no calls are going to be demanded in this sum. That's an important point. Now let me start preparing liquidator statement. So here I prepare liquidator statement. Cash balance is not there. There is no cash balance. Assets realized. Fixed assets realized book value. So land and building realized book value. Other fixed assets also realized book value. Current assets 80% of the book value. So stock 80% of book value. File at 25,000 into 80%. That works out to be 4 like 20,000 realized for stock. Debtors is also current assets 80 percent their office realized so 1 lakh into 80 percent. 80,000 realized for debtors. So this is the total value realized for assets available for distribution to the liquidator. Now first payment is to be made for bank loan. Bank loan is 4 lakhs. Stock realized 4 like 20,000. So bank loan is fully secured because the amount of liability is less than the proceeds of asset which is, which is being placed or hypothecated. So 4 lakh paid to fully secured creditors. After that you are required to make a payment of liquidation expenses and liquidators remuneration. Liquidation expenses 3000, liquidators remuneration 10,000. Now preferential creditors, they are not there. Debenture holders are paid with interest. Now we, we are required to make payment to creditors. If we have got sufficient funds to pay all the creditors, let us work out the balance. So total of receipts minus so far payment made. This is the cash balance available to like 4,000. Creditors are 2 lakhs. So we have got funds to pay 100% amount for the unsecured creditors. So 2 lakhs has paid to unsecured creditors. Now I have got how, may, how much is the balance left with us? 2 lakh 4,000 minus 2 lakhs payment. Only 4,000 rupees are received. Now all the both the categories of shares are fully paid up. So next payment is to be made to preference shareholders to the extent cash available. If the cash available is more than the preference share capital, then and then payment could be made to equity shareholders. But here, the preference share capital is 80,000 and cash available is only 4,000. So we have to be satisfied with the final payment made to preference shareholders, 4,000. After that, no payment will be made to equity shareholders. And the preference shareholders are also the losers of capital 
to the extent of 80,000 minus 4,000, 76,000 is a capital that is being lost under liquidation by the preference shareholders and the total 100% capital is being lost by all the equity shareholders. So, I have to make final payment to the available cash balance is paid to preference shareholders. So, 4 lakhs is the payment to preference shareholders. The remaining amount is lost by preference shareholders. No funds are available to make payment to equity shareholders. This is how liquidator statement is prepared. For your understanding, I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.